This is a video response to Once Forgiven Now Free's video on nylon eggs. Uh, I'd like to start out by saying that your entire argument is based on specified complexity. Now, this is an invention of William Dembski that is not accepted by mathematicians, biologists, or information theorists. Uh, this was covered in the Dover trial, even, where they cited that William Dembski has not made a significant contribution to information theory or science. Uh, numerous papers have responded to William Dembski's claims and have shown that his theory is unable to mathematically demonstrate specified complexity and that he uses the words com complexity, information and improbability interchangeably. Now this doesn't say very good things about his theory, because if it's not accepted by professionals in his field, how can you even say that it is somehow valid in biology, which isn't his field and isn't a, a field of his expertise? Second point is you say that uh, mutations are the destruction of information. Well, over the four billion years that life has been on this planet, or at least uh, self-replication has been on the planet, you would expect, therefore, in four billion years that there would be very little left. However, we see the opposite. So even, actually, even in 6,000 years, if you were using a biblical account, you'd expect things to be a lot worse than they are. You, you then bring up irreducible complexity. Now, irreducible complexity is also another theory that is not accepted by biologists and is frequently refuted. There is nothing that has been shown that is irreducibly complex. If you ask anyone who is an expert in whatever the field is, if it's eyes, you go to someone who knows stuff about eyes. If you want to talk about the wing, you talk to someone who studied the evolution of birds. Nothing has been shown that cannot be traced back. Now, you also say life cannot come from non-life. Well, that would be abiogenesis and not evolution. Evolution only covers life, not how it gets there in the first place. But we can actually demonstrate there is a grey area between the two. Just look at a virus. A virus is DNA or RNA wrapped in a protein coating. That's all it is. It requires a cell in order to reproduce. Also, we know that RNA reproduces by itself, spontaneously. It doesn't require anything. So, as that is partially the basis for life, you can see that non-life can actually produce life quite easily. The last thing I want to say is that um, artificial intelligence algorithms used to model evolution do actually show increasing complexity in their populations. So, as which goes against everything that Dembski claims anyway. So, your entire argument is based on something that has been shown to be false in just about every field it's being applied to. So if you want to argue against evolution, specified complexity is not a good argument.